Let's um, turn their heaters off. Oh, just stop to defrost. It ain't cold, Beck. <laughs> <coughs> If you were born here. Hey? Right? Not if you were born here. Yeah. You don't know where you were born, boy. I think I'll tell you where I come from. <laughs> okay, it's us. As I say, it's the Formula One of shooting. Not only have you got to remember one bird, you've got to remember up to five. Some pegs may have five singles. There's old system, there's new system. What we're shooting out there is old system. I'm going to be writing lots on the board now if you've got photos and you want to take pictures so you've got notes, that's absolutely fine. What we're going to try and cover is the basics in the, the morning session, get the fit ass set up and go deep into the game later on and try and expand on it a little bit more. So, if I said to you and we did it yesterday on a regular class, how do we pick our kill point? If I just had a regular target here, say we're shooting sporting now, not fit ass, there's our clay, where's our kill point? How do we pick our kill point? It's the clearest. Well, it's the clearest. So we pick it just here. That's going to be our one shot sporting <clears throat> shot. Okay? How many of you shot those there in their best places? For two shots. None of us. None of you. Not, well, not, nobody got the shot off in the right place. Nobody even attempted it. We all went here with our first, and our second would have been here. So we would have missed the optimum kill point. But then what do we do in the double? You did it in the loop off. Yeah. We then shoot it in its right place with the lead that was the wrong place. So we've got to understand where we're shooting, but also why we're shooting there. Doubles and singles on a fit ass layout have zero relevance to each other. You must forget one to be successful at the other. So what we're going to work on now is singles to begin. We're going to build the score. But as I say, if you hit all the singles, you're at 17 before you even have one shot at a double. So every shot we take as a single from the fit ass line, we are going to pick the, we're going to pick three kill points for every single shot. We're always going to pick the best one. The best one is number two. We always pick that. We must get one cartridge off there. Then we're going to pick one before and one after. Two of those are going to be where you shoot. Now, what you must get in the mindset is, if you're going to go one and two, one may very well miss. But it doesn't matter. We've still got the best shot left. This is just a Hail Mary. Eight times out of ten, it'll run into it. And you just got to go, oh, Christ, you shot that quick. We're not going to do it at all. It doesn't matter. What we are doing is getting the best shots off we can on every target. The last, I, I think the worst thing for me would be a fit ass target. I open the gun, the referee says zero, and I've still got a shell in. That would drive me crazy. I'm going to get two off all the time, but one of them must be in the optimum spot. So, this is gonna, and for this instance now, I've picked that my two best shots are one and two. Okay, so one and two. So my whole point is gonna be here, I'm gonna make my shot, bang, and I'm successful. I break it in that Hail Mary scenario. I didn't really use a method, I just got a cartridge off. Okay? It now comes to the door. And everybody says, I'm great at singles, I'm crap at doubles, or vice versa. I'm great at doubles, crap at singles. Because they try to do the same. So now, I know I'm going to shoot it here, regardless of what happened in the single. Even though I hit it here, I'm not going to try it again. Because it was 80% luck. So what I'm going to do is move everything. But what most people do is say, right, I'm going to shoot it here. And they go back in and say, right, my whole point in the single was here. Does that, look, does that look right? The percentage look right? No. We've got to move our whole point back out to 50%. So when we swap from singles to doubles, forget what you've done. It's a new set of targets with new rules. Okay? 
When we mount the gun from the fitas line, and you're very guilty of it, you mount far too slow. Why do they tell us to shoot gun down? I don't think it's because it's easier. They make us put it down there because it's harder. So the best thing we can do is get it back as fast as possible. And the same as any of my rules when I'm teaching, we must win the race. By that, I mean we must be back fully mounted at the hold point before the clay gets there. Yeah? So when we're standing there looking pretty, going, yeah, 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 yeah. Nothing's happening. We're losing. We're going to have to make a Hail Mary at some point. Get that gun back to your face. So what else can change between singles and doubles? Where do we shoot all the singles from at Fitas? Just here, yeah? So we go, pull, bang, bang. And we get our timing and we learn the leads. Because, and what is the mount? Mount is speed. Mount is generating movement. On the second bird, what don't we have now? Shoot gun up. We shoot gun up. What's that gonna to do to our gun speed? Everything changes. Slow it down. That means it's gonna want more lead. But we don't, we do exactly what we did in the single. Like I said, today's going to be very deep. It's going to be it's probably something that some other people could learn from because we're going to go deeper into it. If I shoot that Shondell, you know, watch Becky shoot it. I think, Carl, you did it. You did it as well. Absolutely hammered it in the single. Yeah. Gun down, generated power, up we went, whack. Beautiful. In the double, we killed the E, stayed mounted, no power coming through the gun, but we did exactly what we did. We gave it exactly the same lead as a single. We know we did, and I know you did. But we didn't break. Because we've lost power from the gun mount. I'm not telling you to dismount, because I wouldn't dismount, but you need to know that it's going to want more lead. More lead if you stay mounted. <laughs> it's a heavy, heavy, heavy day. You're going to go home with headaches today. Because this is going to be deep, deep, deep. <laughs> I wanted to cover it while we're in one session. We are only concentrating on singles this morning. Doubles before, just after lunch, complete layouts after that. So when we go out there now, if Becky goes in there and Becky says, right, she fancies her chances, she's got a good mount, I'm going one and two. That doesn't mean you go one and two. You think, well, my mount's not quite as crisp and I like birds on the drop. So you can go two and three. It doesn't matter as long as one of the shells goes off in number two. And the easiest, the easiest target to think about it on is if we're stood just here. <coughs> Hang on, I'll put the skirt on it for you, but there you go. <laughs> we stand there and we've got an incomer like this. Where's the best place to shoot it? Top. Top. There's number two. So number one is here and number three is here. So people like them on the up. Some people like them on the down, it doesn't matter. As long as you go here, followed by here, or here, followed by here. And like I say, if you hit it on the way up, which nine times out of 10 you will, because you're relying on hand and eye instinct, and it'll just click. Do not think you have the capabilities to do that when you've only got one shot in the gun. Because we know we've still got one left, we're nice and loose. Oh, we missed it, doesn't matter, here comes the good one, whack. <clears throat> when it's a double and you've only got one, and everything tightens up, we start to move things around, but that's more for later on. So singles, two shots, you pick. Now the only thing I would say to you is, if you are gonna go two, uh, one and two, there must be enough distance between the two to enact a change. If it's bang, bang, the second sock pellet is going exactly where the first set of pellets went. If you can't, like the A bird going away, there is no way we can do that one and two, none. Because by the time we shot one, we couldn't change anything to do it by two. So that dictates it's going to be two and three. You all try to shoot it too quickly, and the two was right in between where you did shoot. Would have hit far more by doing that. So race to the whole point, get the good in the shoulder. If we're going one and two, don't worry about methods. We haven't got time. Get in front of it, get the shot taken. When we get to two, we fall back into our methods. This is simply a lesson on singles this morning. Where must our feet be? Pointing to the kill zone. Pointing to your second kill zone. Second kill zone. If we miss with the first, we need to have enough to allow us to keep going through 
the second kill point. If I set the kill point two and I miss, I need to be able to get my body. What I don't want to be doing is have the perfect setup, bang, up, and over we go. So what else will change in your doubles? Feet position. So really, singles and doubles. Two different sports. They don't even compare. They are two different shoots. They have no compatibility at all. Any questions? No, let's go practice. Let's go do it. <laughs> it's, it's enough. If I can implement that.